What's good? What's good? It's really good out there in the hood. Listen, um, oh, y'all want to talk about Tommy? Seeing all the people talking about Tommy in there. I had left a comment on it. I didn't see Tommy's video and what he actually said. You know, me and Tommy, you know, a lot of people wanted us to work together. He came out here and spoke at a seminar. They was like, man, y'all, y'all should hook up. Y'all, y'all a click. Like I said, his style of what he does doesn't really fit what I do. Um, you know, more power to him and what he's doing. But it seems like there's a lot of, a lot of beta in him. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people boast and brag about we're doing this for you know you know manhood and masculinity he said some things in the past that I agree with but he's, he's done some actions that go on the misogynistic side like like they really have a hate towards women you know like like somebody really wronged him in the day or something some girl broke his heart type shit so like I told you that Jill Scott thing that 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 really kind of went left to me I'm just like I don't think anything Jill Scott deserved what you just said you know in that type of tone you know she is a lady you know she is a black woman and to speak like that I was not fine of it. I could understand if you have some points you want to make but to just really disrespect her in that form I didn't really like that so I didn't vibe with that whole movement but the people that love drama you know they were attached to it they were rah rah yeah 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 so like I said I'm not here to diss Tommy really for what he said but to me, on the outside looking in, and you guys wanted my opinion on it, I, I've never seen what he actually said, but I heard Kwame's video. And when I heard Kwame talk, he was more shocked than anything. Like, wow. This is, this is shock. Like, man, you could, like, you got my number. Like, you could hit me up, you know, if there's a problem. You know, I... I shouted everybody out, like, what do I owe you? You know, like, huh? You know, and I've recognized that because of the, that happened to me, but in a different form because I never really partnered with these people. So my thing is, like, I didn't partner with anybody, so I don't owe anybody anything more than what I give them. You know, and I give, like, mad appreciation love share people's videos you know I do all I can't I can't share them all I wish I could but I can't so I just do the best I can to try to to try to push everything forward man you know what I'm saying so it's been a crazy crazy week been a crazy crazy month <laughs> and definitely everybody who's out here the numbers have jumped up because of Kwame Brown everybody's using Kwame's videos and flying around and people are getting mad like there's people out here pissed because now their videos aren't getting a lot of traffic or whatever the reason may be I don't even know what the hell they mad about what could you be mad about? I mean, Kwame mentioned Tommy name before damn near anybody. He's mad because, look, he's not in the middle of your beef with Kevin Samuels. You seem to have a problem with Kevin Samuels. So that's like you and Kevin Samuels have a problem. So that's something you and Kevin Samuels need to work out. See, as a man, an alpha man, you don't need anyone to justify your statement. Understand that. 
Let me say that one more time so that people will understand this. Tommy, if you're listening, take notes. As an alpha male, a man, period. Okay? Listen. You don't need anyone to justify your statement. When a man speaks, he don't need, I don't need a cosigner. If you don't believe it and you don't want to roll with it, hey, it is what it is. But I'll tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to sit there and let myself get upset because another person didn't do something for me. What? <laughs> if they don't owe me, then okay. Now, if somebody's impeding or, or stealing and trying to trying to hoard in on something that they shouldn't, then yeah, you can address that. But I'm an alpha male. In every aspect of the word, alpha. Now, we seem to have a problem here. Because a lot of people don't understand what that means. Like, oh man, he's a beta male. That means he's, it's not his fault. Beta males, there's a lot of beta males in the world. Don't mean that they bad people because they beta males. It's just their character. They don't have it in them to lead. They don't have a. They don't have it in them to. There, there's a lot of them are head of, of companies. Sean Puppy Combs is not an alpha male. That's a beta. And what do he do? Jay-Z, it's not an alpha male, that's a beta. All these dudes are beta males. And they're in a position to try to be alphas. 50 cents an alpha. All the way. And just because someone's an alpha male don't mean that they always right. <laughs> they just a man. A man that did something wrong. You can do something wrong and be an alpha. Just because you a beta male don't mean you can't do nothing right. I'm just saying there's a lot more betas out here than there are alphas. We're going away at an alarming rate. So what Kwame was doing was sticking up for manhood. Like, dude, pull up your pants. It's a saying. Pull up your pants and be a man. And Tommy was about that. But his was coming a little bit more from a misogynistic standpoint to me. But to each his own. Now, his thing with Kwame, he's wrong. If, if, if it went the way Kwame just said it went, then by all the time he's wrong. So that that's my views on it. I I really don't have anything else to add to it except for that. You know. Me, I'm just enjoying the holiday. My mom, my sister's here, so that's gonna be good to see them. You know, so 
it's going to save me a lot of time and effort going to see people and all that stuff. So it is what it is. Hey, it's one of those days, you know, one of those days. Steven Jackson, man. This dude is still on the internet. Right now, he's on the internet. Talking to people live stream. Right now, I didn't. I had to walk out, man. I'm just like, dog, I just did two videos on you back-to-back -back addressing the fans. Now he's talking to fans. I should have got on there. He wouldn't have picked me, though. He wouldn't have picked me. He on IG Live and then talking to some people. Now, you know Captain Jack get paid for his IG live. So, is he milking it? <clears throat> Wasn't you bragging about you making 31 G's this month? On your IG account, Captain Jack. Wasn't that you? Could have sworn it was you. Maybe I'm wrong. Could have been you. Smelt like you. Look like you. I think it was you, nigga. When you seem to pick only these dudes that's like in his corner, all these Beaumont, Texas, man. Some other dudes. It's like, dude. <laughs> Who is this guy, man? <laughs> Machine Gun Muslim, baby. Steven Jackson. He's a Muslim. Until it's time to shed blood. Assalamu alaikum, mother. <laughs> Coming soon to a theater near you. Machine Gun Muslim. I shoot my lingua. Bastard. <laughs> Hold on. I thought I pray. I'm going to shoot you in between the eyes. Hold on. Talk that a lot for a minute. Then I'm going to come back and shoot you. Hold on. <laughs> Man. People got it all screwed up. You sure, you sure Jack ain't from Philly? <laughs> Jeez, I've never seen so many Muslims, Akis, out here rolling around, blasting at people, <laughs> cursing people out, getting drunk. I'm like, Muslims drinking brew? <laughs> drinking Henny? And then praying to Allah? I'm like, this is crazy right now. <laughs> They high as a kite, praying to Allah. Wow. Unbelievable. But yet I'm I'm the one egging it on. I'm showing their video. Like, look at what they doing. That's what I'm doing. But I'm the one egging it on. He goes on IG Live, but I'm the one egging it on. We the ones who's milking the beef. Man, I, I don't think none of these dudes think straight, man, to be honest. I just don't think they think straight. For some reason, I just think they got a screw loose. That fame, that ego, that vanity, bro. Damn. See, Mike Barnes just shut up. I mean, really, that, that's all he could do. 
Because every time he opened his mouth, it was not going to be good for him. He got people calling him Becky with the good hair on everything he do. He try to retweet the show or something and talk about something else. Becky! I'd be like, man, <laughs> internet has no chill. And they deleting all the comments that says Becky with the good hair. If you say Becky with the good hair, it's getting deleted. Becky with the good hair, delete. Oh, they ain't playing. They deleting everything. Everything move. careful out there on them roads too man that's another thing these cops are out here heavy so be careful out there on them roads for sure it's heavy cops are all heavy so be careful out there don't forget to subscribe to the page hit the like button my cash app is carcino k-a-r-c-e-n-o you know my super chat work over here now you asked me for it and I went and did it for you. There it is. <laughs> now you can super chat, so you got no excuse. Uh, the Carcino for Life Patreon is, is doing well. Yep, we had the Blaze Academics ass for mentioning my name. Secret Squirrel <laughs> over there. Talking about me. Okay. I'll be your Huckleberry. <laughs> 